Military spending decisions? Yes, we did, Naomi. From a White House report, we are currently fighting several wars with several countries. Tell us what you see. USA swore to face, cock and bang, blast and aim, sword and chain, lots of pain, down the drain. This is insane. So, we start in wars over accusations, coming up with penalizations to anyone who ain't got time for their plans of world domination. You see, the US military is everywhere. A reported 150 countries last year, 75% of places on the planet all because of 9-11 and the seed that was planted. Now, I ain't come here to argue, but damn it, is it really so hard to believe they planned it? If so, it's cool. I'll expand it. In 2002, Congress passed the Authorized Use of Military Force Act. Now, that's a little government pact that allowed the president to give star straps, stripes, and inventory packs to our soldiers and charade them in acts to defend the national security. That sounds obscure to me. Claims of national security? Why go abroad? That sounds like a fraud. When there ain't no security in a majority of jobs that people is lobbed, we looking at odds of 725 on a national scale of minimum wage. Now I say people getting minimum pay is getting maximum play. Mm -hmm. While those bringing in military gains is looking at a range of a couple grand a month. And I know when I was young and dumb and on the hunt, that seemed like more than enough than I could ever want. And then the cost of living went up. Uh, but hey, let's talk about math and the budget that they have. 600 billion. And people complain about government aid. I said, y'all should complain about being government slaves. You see, every year about $4,000 get taken out of your pay to go straight to the banks, the tanks, the booms, the bangs, and explosions. Stop paying your taxes. I bet the Pentagon gonna notice. And to go duly noted, while you setting your focus, they be setting their traps and they hocus pocus, making claims that straight bogus. Your soldiers, free housing, salary, and a bonus. They just throw bones to the homeless. And while we talking about tax, for every dollar that you grab, that's 11 more cents just waiting to be had to go back to the banks and the tanks. And I know, it may not seem like much, but tell that to my family when we can't even buy lunch or provide for my kids after taking knives in the rib to supposedly protect the way that we live. Mm, go on. And after all that, this is the things that I get. A list of ailments and benefits for which I don't even qualify. So that whole while, I was living a lie. Life and health was all on the line, and at the end of the time, I'd rather be out committing crime. Cause only about five cents in collective pay go towards any type of aid, and I can't get a job, I can't get a raise. Cause every time I hear a boom or bang, I remember them things that makes a mind go insane. Got me feeling shook and shaken. My body is breaking. My sanity and my soul have been taken. My thoughts just feel vacant. 